welcome back to my channel, The Struggle is Real with the Makeup Nurse. Today is First Impressions Friday. I'm so excited. And today, I'm going to the airport. It's my every two weeks. I'm so excited. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the Tangy Tangerine that I just bought. And during my luggage, it kind of got ruined a little bit. But that's okay because I'm going to use that shade. Um, let me open. Which I bought this um, for Sun and Saturdays whenever I can start doing that again. So I just got to be careful with that because it did bust up a little bit. Of course, that's the pretty little shade that busted up. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And let me see. Oh, they do have it. Um, shade names. Let's go in with this shade here. So I'm going to the airport. I can do a little oranging while I'm wearing green. This is my like comfy travel shirt that I use to travel. And that shade is Daily Dosage. Again, I wish I had the full effect of the first impressions of the smell, but it's okay. I'm sure most of you don't care about the smell. I'm probably the only goofball here that is obsessed with scented makeup. Uh, this eye has extra loose, like, see how loose my eyelid and like, crinkles? Nice, a lot of eye cream, day and night, so I'm hoping it'll get rid of some of that looseness of my eye firm it up and now I'll never do Botox or plastic surgery or any of that. I'll use the creams and that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm always so short so I always sit on my leg but then after a while it gets like uncomfortable and then I feel like I'm even shorter. <laughs> So that's why if you see me up and down a little bit, that's why. I do that at work too because I feel like, you know, short. And I always keep my seat up higher, but because I'd rather be up higher to the table than like have to sit a little bit further away from the table in meetings because I swing my legs and yeah, I, I know I have a, lot, a little bit of ADHD because I've always done that. Okay, now let's do, let's try this orangey shade, and that is that sugar. This is actually making me hungry. It's a good thing I can't smell right now. Otherwise, I'd be sm smelling it and be like, ooh. And, you know, you have an orange from breakfast that I haven't eaten yet. From yesterday that I grabbed. This is gonna be a bright look. <laughs> I'm not used to this. <laughs> My husband's gonna get me from the airport today and be like, holy brightness. <laughs> uh, that's okay though. That's what this is for. Testing out and practicing, right? Okay, let's do the cut crease. And I really want to try that bright orange shade. Okay. And now, let's see. Mm. Let's put on, before I put on the glitter, oops. Let's put on this shade here to kind of set it down and that's the 
good for you shade. Oh wait, no, that's sorry. Quench my thirst. Mm. I'm getting thirsty. I think I'll hold on. I forgot I grabbed a a juice downstairs. It's a passion guava juice. Or guava passion guava orange juice or something like that. I don't know. But it's really good. Anyway, sorry about that. I digress. I always so I'm using this shade to kind of set it down a little bit. But I also give a little bit of color. And now we can go in with wow. Huh. Wow. This is like a pressed pigment right now. And I've never really used that before. Oh my gosh. This is so weird. Like, it's... <laughs> so maybe I should have... kept it a little wet. Let me spray my brush a little bit. Oh, did I even get my brush? Okay. Let's see if that works a little bit better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh. This is getting up crazy. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, let's go back in with this and kind of, oh wait, no. Well, this shade that I was, I'm kind of blend that in. Good thing I'm not going to work with it. Okay, let's go in with the transition shade. I'm going to just blend all that in. Wait, oops. Wait, I forget what transition shade I used. Okay, we'll just do this one. I think this was the transition shade. I'm looking crazy. Okay. We'll stop there and we'll make sure I picked it a little bit towards the end. Okay, I really wanted to try this rose gold tart eyeliner, but I don't think it'll match. It looks like it would be more of a lid than an eyeliner, but it says eyeliner, so let's just. And it is very creamy. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've never done this this way. Plus, I have to. With my eyes closed, guys. After today, I think I'm gonna use it as a lid because I don't think I can do this with my eyes closed. Did I even do it? Or is it just not showing up because of the brightness? can't even see it. Okay, let's try the wing. No, it's not going to work. At least not with this. 
I think I'm just going to use it as a lid shade. That's not going to work for me. Okay, I'm going to go get some real eyeliner and try to fix that up. I'll be back. All right, so I totally messed up on my eyeliner too. Oh, well. I'm almost wishing I could just scrap this video, but we're not going to. I'm going to just go with it. All right, so I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Soothing Face Primer. Probably put way too much, but that's okay. Maybe not. Yeah, oh well, that's fine. You can blend it in. If I can fix what's going on and have a good look at the end, that will be amazing. Now, I'm going to, I don't have a new foundation, so I'll be back. Okay. I don't know if I've ever used this Philosophy concealer. I found it from years, I, I don't know how long I've had this, and yes, it's probably expired. Can I really mess up this look any worse than it already is? Okay, don't answer that. <laughs> Maybe try to fix that liner. Yeah, I prefer the having a um, a dofa than this, but that's all right. Cover that dark spot. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Let's try to fix this liner. And I used the um, Pharmacy CC Cream, my samples, and I had the darkest shade 04 open. So I just wanted to use that up. As you can see, it's a little bit too dark. So I should just went in with my really light concealer. But I wanted to try this out. And I'll have a mask on today, anyway, all day. So that concealer actually. pretty good. I just wish it was a lighter shade. So it would have whitened it up a little bit. My eyes, but and maybe lightened up this foundation, but otherwise I liked it. Okay, so I don't have any cream products to try on, so I'll be back. Okay, let's finish our under eyes. Let's go in with this shade here, our transition shade. Oh, and I have, a, I have a little bit of glitter on it, but that's okay. Yeah, I like the palette. I just think orange is not my color. And I'm just not as, I've never used this type of pressed pigment before, or well, ended up in pressed pigment type thing. So I think that's the reason why a little bit more with today's look. The struggle is real. <laughs> okay, I'll finish the rest of that up. Um, let me do, I don't have a new bronzer or blush, so I'll be back. Okay, this is the Elf's um, Face and Body Shimmer. I would never use it. I don't really put shimmers in my body. Okay. Let's see how great this looks as a highlight. I bought this because it's supposed to smell. 
I wonder what it smells like. I forget what it said. It's, ooh, I guess it is. I was going to say, I don't think it's going on as a highlight very well. But, yeah. It doesn't look like much on my brush, though. I think that's why I'm like, huh, is it coming off? And then I'm going to use this um, for my eyes, but you know what? I'm going to do the mascara first. So I'm going to try this Lights, Cameras, Lashes from Tarte. Look at that packaging. The wand isn't too fat, which I like. Especially for my lower lashes. Nope. All right, let's do my finish my eyes. So I got my mascara on. I'm going to use this for white. Below the brow bone. I don't know if this will work, but we're gonna do it. All right. I haven't tried this. Yet, hold on. I don't know what color. Oops, hold on. I just okay. I'm gonna use this color from LA Colors. Um, you know what? This actually looks like it would be a good match. Hmm. All right, let's do this. I'm the worst at lining. Jamie, it can't be that hard. Just follow the lines on your lips. But this is coming from someone who can't draw a stick figure. That's why I never took art in high school. I took Spanish. Can I speak to someone in Spanish? No. Even though it took four years in a semester in high school or college. But I never really used it, which I wish I would have. Because now it would have come in handy. Okay, now let's try this lip stick. Oh, maybe I should. You know what? <laughs> I put the wrong cap on it, and this one would have worked better. And so I thought it was this one that I was using. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm like, yeah, I think I can use Spanish better than art, plus I can pass Spanish. I'm not going to ever pass art. Actually, it didn't work Not too bad. It almost matches. Hmm. Sometimes my mess ups come in handy. Except when, yeah, this. <laughs> and I don't think it was really the palette. <laughs> I think it was me. And um, this Tarte um, eyeliner is probably a good eyeliner. It just don't work for me. One, because... I have to close my eyes and two 
I should have used like a more neutral color to try this. So maybe next time I will um, the try a neutral. Try it again as a liner, but I really think I'm gonna do better like just using it as like a liquid um, eyeshadow. Okay, let me go set my face though. I, I don't have a, a new one. Okay, now it's all done um, after I set my face. I did like the eye, the lip liners. They were very creamy and they were easier to use even though it looks like they're in a pencil. Um, I just got to get the right cap on them so I know what color to use. Um, as far as the eye shadow palette, like I said, I like it. I just, you know, this is not my favorite. It's old though, but I'm more of a, I like the Dolpha. And it's a little dark, so I like lighter ones, but it ended up work, working out okay. Um, this, I think, would be better as a body shimmer versus a highlight, but I think I will continue to use it during um, the, uh, you know, Sun and Saturdays as a highlighter. That's what I bought it for. So whenever I get to um, start that back up, this was a soothing primer. I did like it, um, and Elf is so much cheaper. They have such good products. This for LA Colors, which is cheaper, was it cleaning me lipstick? I was um, almost thinking I would have to go in with the gloss, but it is creamy, so I don't really need a gloss. Uh, again, this, I'll have to double check it, you know, because it's not fair to do a t give a, a review today because of the look I have. Um, but other than that, everything else look, worked out good, I think. I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it, did, it looked um, at the end, but... It's not too bad and I'm just going to the airport so you guys have a great first impressions Friday talk to you later bye